Welcome to this quick tip from the Tellet IoT University. Today we're going to be discussing using the random number generator action block to simulate data coming from a sensor. During the development process, there are times when a trigger needs to be created, but there may be no sensor available to generate the data for the trigger to act on. You may also need to test a trigger for values far outside the norm, such as getting a temperature sensor to register over 100 or below zero. The Generate Random Number Action Block in the Gateway software can be used for just such an occasion. I've already built a trigger here that uses a random number generator, so let's take a look at the action blocks. First, I have my start triangle. This is my generate random number action block. As you can see here, I can create a data type of int4. I could do a string, I could do a binary, or I could do an unsigned integer. I'm going to go with int4, which is going to give me a range of values up to about 21 million. I can produce one or more numbers at a time, giving me the ability to create an array. I can also set the minimum value and maximum value. I'm going to set the minimum value to 52 and the maximum value to 94. Now, with the generated random number, I have to store it somewhere in either a local, global, or static variable. So I've chosen to store this in a local variable called number. Now, so you'll be able to see it, I'm also going to write this out to the local database, and I'm going to write it to a table called RNG. I'm going to write the number out to a column called numbers, along with a timestamp. And of course, the end execution success trigger. I'm going to save this, close the editor, and start the trigger and look for successes. I have one success, I have four successes. So at this point, the trigger is writing the random numbers to the variable, and then we have a process to take those random numbers generated and stored there and put them into the local database. So I'm gonna select the local database, and here you see the values. And notice they are all between 52 and 96. So this has been a very quick tip on how to use the random number generator. We hope you find it useful in creating your workbench triggers. And subscribe to this channel.